Good day Grade 12s, welcome to the next part of our week 31 where we're going through physics paper question. Right, so it says sphere A has a charge of plus 4 microcoulombs, there's sphere A plus 4, and is placed in an insulated cylinder. A second identical sphere but opposite charge is placed is B and it has a mass of 500 grams okay so this has got a mass of 500 grams and it hangs at rest at a distance R between the two right sphere B is attached to scale as shown below okay so there is 20 newtons that's 19 so that looks like that 19.5 19.4, 19.3. So it's actually 19.3 newtons. That is what it is pointing out. Okay, now it says draw the net electric field pattern draw due to the spheres A and B. Well, this is positive and this is negative. I'm going to draw it sideways just to make it easier. This is positive and this is negative. And you guys should really be able to do this. Okay, basically, you want a beautiful drawing where it's going from positive to negative and the lines are kind of equidistant around the different spheres and they are always in 90 degrees to the surface if you can draw it like that. Right, so that's that. Then it says straight Coulomb's law in words. Well, F is equal to K Q1 Q2 over R squared. That's Coulomb's law. Obviously you can't write that. You need to say that the force of attraction or repulsion between two charged objects is directly proportional to the product of their charges and inversely proportional to the distance between their centers squared. Right. Please go learn it. Now it says draw a labeled force diagram of all the forces acting on sphere B on all the forces act on sphere B. And please note again, three points. Three points means three forces. So you want a labeled force diagram. So here is our sphere B. Do you agree that it is hanging from a scale? It's attached to a scale. So therefore there's a force up, pulling it up. Okay. There is the force of gravity, which is pulling it down. And there is a force of attraction the force of attraction to A. Okay, so there are your three forces acting on it. Now it says, what is the magnitude of the net upward force that acts on sphere B? Okay, well that's pretty easy. We can read it. It's 19.3 newtons. That is the net force that is acting on it. Now it says, calculate the distance between spheres A and B. So since we have the net force, acting on it. Okay, that there. We've also got the force of gravity and we've got the applied force and they're all making a difference to this force. Okay, so the question is what is the magnitude of the net upward force that acts on sphere B? Well, it is hanging and it is stationary. It hangs at rest. Therefore, the F net, the net force is zero. Okay, now it says calculate this distance, R, and it's for six marks. They expect you to do some work. Okay, so we know that F net is the sum of all the forces, which is going to be the force up due to the scale, plus the force of gravity, plus the force of attraction due to A. Okay, and we have to choose one of these as positive. So I am going to choose, in this case, I'm going to choose up as positive. So I've chosen up as positive. So therefore, your F net is zero is going to be the force up of 19.3 newtons minus the force of gravity, which is its mass, which is going to be 0, 0,5 times by 9.8 minus the force applied. In fact, we're just going to keep it as plus because it should work out to be A minus, and that's the plus the force of due to A. So let's pop that in our calculator. So we've got 19.3 times bracket, no, so we've got 19.3 minus 4.9 which gives us 14.4. So 0 is equal to 14,4 newtons plus Fa. So Fa, the force 
due to A is going to be minus 14,4 newtons. And we're happy with that answer because it should be pulling it down. Okay, so that should be a negative. Now that number there is the force between these two objects due to their electrostatic force. So we've got 14,4 is equal to K, which is 9 times by 10 to the times by the charge on this and it's micros, it's millimicros, it's minus 4 times by 10 to the minus 6. So it's going to be minus 4 times by 10 to the negative 6. And do we include the signs? No, we don't because that just shows if it's attraction or repulsion. Times by 4 times by 10 to the negative 6 all over R squared. Therefore, R is equal to 9 times by 10 to the 9 times by 4 times by 10 to the negative 6 squared all over 14 comma 4 all square rooted. And I apologize for the squiff writing. So let's pop that in our calculators. So we've got the square root of a bracket and that's 9 exponent 9 times 4 exponent negative 6 and I should have had brackets so let's put a bracket in here and a year bracket here and square it and then we're going to move it down over 14.4 equals and that's 1 tenth which if you really need to do is 0,1 so that's 0,1 meters. So that is the distance R between spheres A and B. Right, grade 12, that is a very nice, again, this is actually paper, has got really nice questions in it. It's a very nice question on electrostatics. It includes the fact that you have to take into consideration the force due to gravity. Please make sure you understand your electrostatic forces and your electrostatics and go learn your theory. Go learn Coulomb's law. Go learn about electric field patterns, please. Have a great day.